sound check test one 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 check one 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 sound check test one check one one sound check test one check one sound check प्रेम सुषमापति महादेव की जय वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय बजरंग बली की जय एज यू बिगिन दिस ब्यूटीफुल नाइट फ्रेंड्स एट दिस टाइम लेट अस ऑल स्टैंड एज यू जॉइन अ ब्यूटीफुल श्री हनुमान जी आरती ओम श्री गणेशाय नमः ओम श्री सरस्वती नमः ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमो नम ओ नम शिवाय ओ नम शिवाय ओ गणनाम गणपति हुम भवा कवि कवीनाम श्रम जेस राज ब्रह्मण ब्रमणस्पत आना शुन्मनोतिशी दसादन गंगण पत नम ओं एक विमे वक्रतुन्न धीम तन्नो दंती प्रचोदयात गंगण पत नम ओं न त्र सुभात न चंद तारक नेमा विदुरोपांतकृत मग्नि तमे मां तुम भाति सर्व तस्वासा विभाते ओं हर हर म पार्वती पते हर हर महादेव आरती की जय हनुमान ललाती दुष्ट दलन रघुनाथ कला की आरती की जय हनुमान ललाती दुष्ट दलन रघुनाथ कला की आरती की जय हनुमान लाती दुष्ट दलन रघुनाथ कला की जाके बल से गिरिवार का रोग दोष जाके निकट न जाके ओम श्री हनुमति नमः जाके बल से गिरिवार का रोग दोष जाके निकट न जाके अंजनी 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 संतन के प्रभु सदा सहाय सुन 
नर मुनि आरती उतारे जय 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 हनुमान उतारे नर मुनि आरती उतारे जय 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 हनुमान उतारे कंजन 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 हर बबूर लारी आरती कर आरती की जय हनुमान लला की दुष्टलन रघुनाथ कला की आरती की जय हनुमान लला की दुष्टलन रघुनाथ कला की As we take this beautiful moment tonight, friends. The night marks the first night of celebration towards the beautiful Sri Hanuman Jayanti celebration. We have come together united with love and with devotion to worship the Almighty, that most powerful Bajranga Bali. He is called Pavana Putra. It is said whenever we hear the name Sri Hanuman, the world gathers to hear his name and his glory. Why? Because he is the ardent bhakta and ardent devotee of Prabhu Ram. And while we take this moment to sacrifice our love, our devotion, our energies to sit at the feet of our beautiful Sri Hanuman Murti, we say pranams and salutations. Jai 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 Hanuman, Jai 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 Hanuman, Jai 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 Hanuman. As we begin this beautiful night, the first night of devotion to that most beautiful form of Lord Hanumanji, to all the bhaktas who came to the yajna tonight, we would have been graced by the blessings of our Lord, 15 feet tall, that most beautiful posture of Bajranga Bali. We take this golden opportunity as we touch the feet of our wonderful mother, our wonderful father of the home, who has allowed us here into this wonderful mandir to worship Mahaviri Swami. And once more, on behalf of myself and the members of the Celestial Gandharvas, we say cordial welcome, swagatam, namaskar, and a special Jai Sitaram to all bhaktas and all devotees who have come to worship Mahaviri Swami to receive his knowledge, his wisdom, the Atma Gyan, the Bhakti Gyan, and the devotion of Pavana Putra. To all those who are here, special welcome to my wonderful mother who's here as well. We say blessings to her. To all our devotees who are tuned in once more via Facebook. To all those who are locked on via 103.1 FM as well. We say swagatam, namaskar as we begin this night. Bhaktas, at this time, without further ado, let us all sit upright. Let us cleanse our mind. Let us forget the world. And while we praise Bajranga Bali, it is called self-sacrifice. It is called selfless love. 
We've come gathered at the feet of our Lord to only receive darshan of the Almighty. Oh 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 Vakratunda Mahakaya Surya Kuti Samaprabha Nirvighanam Guru Me Deva Sarvakaji Susarvada Yadevi Sarvabhuti Durga Rupi Nasanstita Namaste, 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 Namaha, Namaha, Ya Devi Sarva Bhuti Shu, Lakshmi Rupi Nasanthita, Namaste, 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 Namaha, Ya Devi Sarva Bhutishu Saraswati Rupi Nasanthita Namaste Se Namaste Se Namaste Se Namaste Se Namaste Se Namaste Se As we are worshipping you and inviting you to bring forth blessings and guidance and protection, we are very humbled and blessed to be at your divine feet on this wonderful night. Days away from worship where we celebrate the Sri Hanuman Jayanti and while we pay salutations, we join in mantras. Surya, 
Tonight, friends, Tonight we will worship we will Lord Hanumanji through his most beautiful 40 verses of the Sri Hanuman Chalisa. And while we take this moment to salute our Lord, adorations to his wonderful form, as we chant his name again and again with full faith, we say, Lord, you know our hearts, our mind, our life, our consciousness, and everything that goes on with us every single day. And while we take this moment to glorify you, 40 verses all together. Let us blend our voices and let us chant, let us sing, let us sing. Feel the energy of Mahavir. Shri Guru Charana Saro Charaja Vijamana Mukura Surha Varna Ragu Vara Vimana Jasu Jodaya Gopala Cha Buddhi He Natanu Jani Ki Sumirao Pavara Kuma Bala Buddhi Vidya Devati Arau Kalesha Vika Everybody tonight loudly Pavana Sudha Hanuman Ki Bajrang Bali Ki Sushma 
gathered ourselves at the feet of our most beautiful Shri Hanuman Ji. And some devotees were asking me the question, Baba, Pandit Ji, how did you find this Murti? How did you see Mahaviri Swami here? I'm sure many of you would have seen Mahaviri Swami probably years back, not so? How many people saw Pravanaputra besides today? Nobody? Few? So I can't remember in terms of time and years, but I remember mom and dad is sitting on this side to all those who want to see them. I remember years back, I was just driving on this road going to Puja and I simply saw something looking like a mandir and it was something like a shed right there. That building was, wasn't even completed as yet. And I saw something looking like a murti so I drove into the road. This was years, I can't even remember when. And the murti was not completed as yet. It was still half undone. There was no paint on it as well. And I just remembered it. There was just a thought. And every time I go to Yajna, I'm passing on the M2 road. The thought is just there. I must drop in sometime and just see it. I must drop and see. Probably it's done. Maybe it's not done. I don't know. But maybe I should. And then recently, all devotees know that I was performing the Hanuman Chalisa every day to account for the 108 Chalisas. Just as a reminder to recap, every single day in our lives, we wake up, we start our day, we go about our journeys and we forget sometimes to even pray. Not so. We get up and we are so busy in our daily life. We have to go to work or probably we have to go to school. And we are so busy that we forget to stop for a second and even say Om Namaha Shivai. But you know what we take time for? You all want to guess? We wake up and we are too busy to say Om Namaha Shivai. But what is the first thing you pick up when you get off the bed? You pick up that phone. And when you pick up the phone, for many people, what is the first thing you do when you get onto the phone? It starts with F, A, C, E, book. <laughs> the first thing we do is get up and we go into Facebook. We want to see what is happening. Did anybody put up something? What's the latest? What's going on? Did my friend do something? I didn't hear from somebody yesterday. I wonder where they went. I wonder what happened. I wonder what is happening in the world. We just want to see everybody's life and everybody's business and we just want to be a part of it. So we want to see. And it just dawned to me, you know what? People don't take time to pray, but they take time to just go onto Facebook. Whether it takes 15, 20 minutes, they could be the busiest people. If you go onto Facebook or you go onto the media or the apps and you see things are happening, you will stop and the world has to wait for you to carry on. So you know what? Let's use the medium. Hanuman Chalisa says, Sahasravadana yo jana parabhanu. It says, in the lifetime that we live, if one can chant the Sri Hanuman Chalisa at least 100 times, then Mahavir Swami says, at the time of death, he will stand next to you. Not even the God of death can touch you, but he will take you from this materialistic world and he will allow you to rise into the heavenly abode and meet with his Lord. If you can chant the Hanuman Chalisa at least a hundred times. 
And I said, you know what? 108 is a significant number. So let's do 108. And you know what? Even if devotees would have picked up that phone and see Pandit Narad Gosain is doing Hanuman Chalisa, you know what? Yeah, prayers. It's prayers again. At the same time, they just want to see where is he? Not so? I wonder where he went this time. I wonder where is he? And because of that notion, I realized that devotees were taking the opportunity to not take a moment to pray, but they will just follow along. And today, gradually, we have reached 92 out of 108. And many people, they are looking onwards now because they've realized that this has become a pattern in their life. At some point, just join in. Do Sri Hanuman Chalisa. Stop everything that you're doing. Remember God and then get back into your life. It has been changing so many people's lives. While abroad, many people have come to me and said, Paniji, you know what? Now I can't do without it. When 108 reach, what are we going to do? Don't worry, you'll get more. People have taken it upon themselves now to look forward to pray. And in today's day and age and time and world and where technology is so much in advance, we are using the technologies to encourage each and everyone, motivate all to do yajna, to do prayer, to do worship and to remember God. And on that particular day, when I was driving by and I glanced the murti, he was not covered anymore from the last time I saw him. And I decided to drive up in this road. And when I came up, there was nobody here. I came up and I stopped. And I said, today I will do my live here. But before I do the live, I wonder if there's anybody around because I don't want to start and next thing somebody come and say, hey, move from here. So I decided to stop for a second. I looked around and mom came up to me. Mom walked up to me so pleasant. She says, Sitaram Baba. I said, Sitaram. She says, I remember you. I remember that face. I know that face. And I explained to her about the Hanuman Chalisa every day. And she says, okay, go ahead. And from that moment, it is at the beginning of this yajna began. At that moment, I felt a connection with Bajrangabali. Why is he standing here all alone? And he's so nice and he's so beautiful and he's so tall. And we're going everywhere and we, we are searching for God everywhere. And Mahaviri Swami is here protecting the entire region. And not even a flower is offered. Not even a coconut is offered. No prayer is done. And he said, you know what? Sri Hanuman Jayanti. Let us praise him in his most manifested form. Let us allow him to feel joy. Let us allow him to feel happiness. And the beginning of this yajna was then commenced, my friends. Tonight as we will begin, we will go into the depths of the Ram Shitramanas and the Sri Hanuman Ang. To devotees who would have understood the Sri Hanuman Ankh, it is a scripture that speaks of the version of the Ramayana in the eyes of Lord Hanumanji. What happened on his part? Sage Valmiki, Anand Sagar Ramayan, Tulsikrit Ramayan, all these different authors of Ramshit Ramanas would have spoken according to what they see, what they saw on third eye vision or Divya Chakshu. But Hanumat Ramayan and Sri Hanuman Ankh it is a version of Sri Hanumanji who is telling to the world, this is what I know happened. I saw that happen. I went to this part of the forest and this happened. Prabhu Ram spoke to me and this is exactly what he said. And Sri Hanumanji Ankh, the scripture tonight, as we are about to join in worship to Bajarangabali, we will continue with our wonderful message. We have been trying to continue and finish the Sri Hanuman Yatra. We decided to take 30 nights and say, you know what? Or 25 nights and say, in 25 nights, we are going to now exploit the names of Bajarangabali. And after the end of 25 nights, we didn't even reach half of the book. That is how powerful the essence and the name of Mahavir Swami is. And then we decided, myself, members of the Silasal Gandharvas, we will do eight nights yatra, Ashta Siddhi yatra. And through eight nights, we will now try to complete the remainder of the half of the book. And with eight nights, we started with the war where Prabhu Ramachandra is about to fight a war with Ravana. And for eight nights, a whole war takes place. That is all. Tonight, we will continue. And that is only to show that there's so much of essence in the scriptures, so much of nectar that we don't even see. All we hear is Prabhu Ramachandra went and he went in the forest and he killed Ravana and he found back Sita Mata and he went back to Ayodhya. And we don't get the gist as to what the nectar and the gems of the scriptures are. And for us to take night after night and still can't finish it, it shows how beautiful our scripture is. Tonight, Bhaktas, we will continue. And while we continue, Prabhu Ramachandra, in our last message to those who will remember, Prabhu Ramachandra had destroyed Ravana after the battle. And their Sita Mata was given notice that her Lord had won. 
And while she will make her way to Prabhu Ramachandra, Bajranga Bali is so excited. He has never seen them together. He has always been at the feet of Prabhu Ram. When the connection of Prabhu Ram and Mahaviri Swami was there at the base of Rich Shamuk Parvat, they stood opposite one another. They embraced one another. And from that moment, it is said that Guru Shishya, that relationship of Prabhu and devotee was built. But he hadn't felt the motherly love, the care, the affection, the attention of Adi Shakti. We have now completed just a few days ago, Noratri period. Ram Naomi has now completed Prabhu Ramachandra's birth. And today, while Sita Mata had gone through the, the trial of the fire, the sacred fire, she goes and she stands next to her Lord Prabhu Rama and Lord Bajarangabali. He walks up to them. He kneels down beside them. And he says, Prabhu, at this time now, we will continue our journey. We start our night with this beautiful chant. I'm sure many people know it. Many devotees, we know it. We sing along and we build the energy of the Yajna. We will set the pace of our Yajna. Sing, clap, forget the world. You know what, Bhaktas? In life, sometimes, we may try to achieve so much. And we will reach a point where we think we've achieved to an extent. And from that point, it is said, from the highest peak in the world, the only way back from success or from that point of success is back down. Today we are here to create humility. We are here to create peace within ourselves. And how will you find it? As I say again, forget the world. Sing, clap, rejoice in the glories of Bajrangabali. As a humble bhakta, whenever he would see the Lord, Jai Shri Ram, he will dance and he will sing in his glories. Ram Bhaktam Ram Bhaktam Balavantam Ram Bhaktam Balavantam Vande Santam Anumantam Vande Santam Anumantam Everybody, Bajarangabali ki Pauna Sutta Hanumane ki
ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪಂಡಿತ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪಂಡಿತ ಅಂಜಲತನಯ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪಂಡಿತ ಅಂಜಲತನಯ ಪವನ ಪೋತ್ರಂ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ತೇಜ ಪವನ ಪೋತ್ರಂ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ತೇಜ ಅಕೋರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ರಾಮ್ ಚರಿತ್ರ ಮಾನಸ್ ಅಕೋರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಚರಿತ್ರ ಮಾನಸ್ ರಿಸರ್ ವೆನ್ ಪ್ರಭು ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಹರ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಮೋ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಬಾಟಲ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾವಣ ಸೀತಾ ಮಾತಾ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಭು ರಾಮ ಬಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಶಿ ಟುಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಶಿ ಹಾಟ್ ದ ಆನ್ ದ ಗೋಡಿ ಫಾಯರ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಅಸ್ ವಿ ಹರ್ ಶಿ ವುಡ್ ಹಾಟ್ ದ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದಿ ಸೇಕ್ರೆಡ್ ಫಾಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸರ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾಯರ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಫಾಯರ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ while sita devi would have passed through the sacred fire for purity she then stood on the side of prabhu ramachandra and bajrangabali now casting his eyes on the most beautiful form of devi shakti ma and prabhu he allowed that image to be etched in his heart from that moment he stood there and now vibhishan who was the brother of ravana he walked up to prabhu ramachandra and he says lord now that you've won you have retrieved one from sita devi i am asking you lord please enter my kingdom and bless my kingdom please enter the kingdom of lanka and bless the kingdom and prabhu ramachandra he put his hands together and he stopped and he says remember 
It is coming very near to the final days of the 14 years of exile. The entire state of Ayodhya, they are waiting for me. And I can't just stay here. I must go back. Everybody's waiting. My mothers, they are waiting for me. We must go back in a hurry. We can't stay. Vibhishan prays and he begs, Prabhu, please just walk through my home. And Prabhu Rama says, I must go back as soon as I could. So Vibhishan decided, well, I will bring the vehicle, the Vahana of Ravana. The Pushpaka Viman was one of the fastest vehicles. Recently, I was looking at a piece of a documentary. And the documentary was showing something about... You know, certain people will look at documentaries and we, we see the titles of the UFOs. The UFOs in the skies and so on. And while they were dating it back to the scriptures, they were not sure as to what the UFO could really be when it comes to that unidentified object. But at the same time, in the timing that it was seen, or a few of them they were seeing, they were trying to now connect it to the Pushpaka Viman because according to the description, of the speed, how fast it goes, an average color, a shine, a glow in the sky. It says Ravana had the ability to move faster than the light in itself with the Pushpaka Viman. Vibhishan says, Prabhu, don't worry, I will bring the vehicle. You can mount yourself onto the vehicle and in no time you will leave. So Prabhu Ramachandra, he says, okay, I will go with the vehicle. Bring the vehicle and allow us to go. And when Prabhu Ram saw the Pushpaka Viman laid in front of him, beautifully decked, it is run by swans. The Lord is about to step his foot onto the, the Viman, the vehicle. He allows Sita Devi to go first. He then climbs up. Lakshmana then mounts himself onto this vehicle. And Bajrangabali, he puts his hands together and he says, Prabhu, at this point, what will I do without you? Prabhu Ramachandra walks up to Bajranga Bali and he says, Mahavir, he says, today, I want to address everybody who's standing in front of me. Monkeys, bears, rakshasas, asuras, everybody was looking at the success of Prabhu Ramachandra. Not everybody had liked him because there were rakshasas and demons who were standing and they were looking, but they were fearful and they were scared that they could even fight anymore. Their king had been destroyed. So they were standing and they were looking on just to listen and to hear what was taking place. Sri Ram was standing on the, on the chariot and he was looking at everybody and not everybody stood for him, but everybody were there. In life, not everybody who will be in front of you will be your friend and they will like you. Sometimes they will stand in front of you to see you and to see your life and to know what you do and to know about you and to know what you're doing in the world. It doesn't mean that they are your friend and they will love you and they will support you. A friend in need is a friend indeed. In your hard times, in your trying times, where are the people who claim to be your friends? Prabhu Ram is standing there and seeing everybody around him. He says, today I will address everybody before I leave. Today, everybody, make sure that you rightfully respect your king and your kingdom. He says, Jamwant, Auna. Jamwant walks up to him, that bear. He says, Jamwant, today you are free to go back into the forest and wherever you want to go. Thank you for help and support. He calls on Sugriv. Sugriv, you welcome me as a friend at the top of the Rishyamuk Paravat. And we then cast that friendship over the sacred fire. Today, you have helped me. Today you can go back to your kingdom and all the monkeys and the bears, they can accompany you and you can keep your army strong. And then he looks at all the others who are there, all those who help, and he says, Today I thank each and every one of you for helping me fight this war. Every single day in our lives we are fighting a war. Whether it's in our home, whether it's in our personal life, whether it's in our schools, whether it's in the mandir, whether it's in our jobs, in our home circle, brothers and sisters, husband and wife, parent and children, vice versa, whatever it is, every single day we are having battles in the world. You know what helps? A simple thank you. A simple gratitude. A moment of creating humility to say thank you. Do you know how many people, if they have to say thank you, that is one of the hardest things in the world to do? You all know people like that? You can give your life for certain people, but there are just some people, no matter what you do, those words thank you could never come out. 
If it has to come out, that means that they have to feel that they are so big and you know what? It is beyond words. Today, Bhakta, Scripture tells us, Prabhu Rama is about to leave and he looks at Bajaranga Bali, Pavana Putra and he says, Hanumanji, ask for anything you want in the world. I am so grateful to you for what you've done to help me. Ask for anything and you are free to go about anywhere you want. Pavana Putra stands there and he looks around and he sees the monkeys and the bears and the vanar and, and some of the monkeys they are going and, and he says, ask for anything that I want. Tonight, if God were to ask you to ask for anything that you want, what will you ask for? What will you ask for? Recently, I asked people that if God come and ask you to say something, ask for anything that you want, what will you ask for? Some people say, I want a lot to know, Ma. Will that make you eternally happy? What will you ask for if God comes in front of you? Bajarangabali says, He says, Prabhu, this is what I will ask for. I will ask that from this moment onwards, that you allow me the blessing to never leave your side. And wherever there is prayer and there is worship and there is devotion, bless me to feel your energy, your vibration and your aura. Until my very last moment in the world, bless me to be on your side. Prabhu Sri Ramachandra looks at Mahavir Swami. He says, you sure? Don't you want anything else? Wealth, money, gold. I will bless you to rule a kingdom if you want. He says, Prabhu, no. I want to go with you. I want to walk with you. I don't care about money and wealth. I don't care about kingdoms. I don't care about anything. Prabhu, don't you know my heart? Don't you know what I want? Don't you know what I live for in this world? And when Prabhu Bajarangabali speaks to the Lord, the Lord at that point, he turns to him and he says, at this time, I bless you that you will stand with me no matter what. Devotees always put God in your life and put him first. Abhajan says this. Rama, Rama, Ratate, Ratate, Beti, Re, Umaniya. Prabhu Hanuman goes onto the chariot. He goes on his knees. He puts his hands together. Prabhu, I don't want to leave your sight. I want to remain here. And Prabhu raises his hands. And Devi Mata raises her hands and she says, Today you, I will let you know, let the world know that you're the most auspicious bhaktas that, bhakta that I can speak about. You have given me hope when I needed hope. You have given me a sign when I needed a sign. Today, Lord Hanumanji, the world will remember your name and they will respect you and they will love you and they will adore you. And whenever they need help, be there for them. Today, bhaktas, we are here at the feet of Bajarangabali. This place has been sanctified. I will let you know that. I feel the energy here. When I would have walked in Vrindavan, you will walk and feel the dust of Vrindavan and you will say, you know what? I'm in Vrindavan. And maybe you might feel the energy or maybe you'll hear a bhajan or tune or a basuri and the wind will blow and then you will say, you know what? Yeah, this is Vrindavan. I've been to Ayodhya and when you walk in Ayodhya, you'll see the beautiful Moritis big just like this one. Prabhu Rama, Lakshmana. Bajaranga Bali, Sita Devi. And when you walk there and you see the murtis and you see how big they are and you walk and you touch the dust of the ground, you will feel, you know what? This is auspicious and holy grounds. Well, I will tell you tonight, it is no different than this ground. It is no different that when the murti stands powerful, he's standing there different forms of Lord Hanumanji. I'm sure you don't know that. There are different colors of Hanumanji. In some depictions, you will see him orange in color. In some depictions, you will see the fur which is white in color, totally. In some depictions, you will see where the fur is like golden color. In some depictions, he's standing with the gara like this, the mukdar like this. In some depictions, he's holding it like this. When he holds it like this, he says, victory to my Lord Sri Ram. When he holds it like this, he's saying, I will protect anybody who comes to me. When he holds it at his feet like you're seeing here tonight, is creating peace 
surrounding the area. Today you can pray for peace. This is one of the resting postures of Bajaranga Bali. He's not about to fight. He's not ready for warfare. He's not ready for victory. But he's here to bless you so that victory will come. One of the sweetest things in the world. Today, I want you to take a moment, all those who are here. And these grounds will transform into the beauty of Ayodhya, Rishya Mukparavad, and the blessings of Sri Ram and Lord Hanumanji. And while we will sanctify the atmosphere, listen. Ragukula Nanda Nakava Ange Bilani Kidagariya Rama Rama Ratate Ratate Mete Re Omare Rama Rama Ratate Ratate Mete Re Omare I want you to make your stamp. I want you to make your stamp in Lanka. Let all the Rakshasas and all the demons of Lanka know that we came to Lanka, we fought with their king and we destroyed him. Let them know today the power of Lord Hanuman, the one who burned Lanka down. But Jarangabali, create your mark and then we will leave. Do you know what Bajarangabali did? He came out of the chariot. And there, Jai Shri Ram. He made one leap from the ground and he went on top of the palace of Lanka. He looked down and he could see everybody in Lanka. All the Asuras and the Rakshasas. He will see them on the streets and they're walking throughout the streets and from the homes. And there he said, loudly with the sound of a thunder, Jai Shri Ram. Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram. And it is said with the Vana, the roof, with the form of a monkey. It is said the roar of Bajrangabali was so powerful that the Asuras on the earth, the Asuras on the ground, they heard the strength of the roar of Bajrangabali and they went into their homes. They would hide themselves. They would feel the strength of Mahavir Swami. They would tremble with fear. And they will go back into their kutiyas and their homes. 
and they will know from that moment when you hear the name Hanumanji, if you are a negative person, move from there. Both the Pisach and the Katana Hiyavai, Mahavir Jabad Namasalavai. He created his stump and after roaring at the top of his voice, he came back down to the chariot. Jai Shri Ram! And he says, Lord, it is time to leave now. atmosphere here is Bajarangabali. Everything bad will go away. Even now, Grahas, the nine planets, they are scared of Bajarangabali. From tonight to the devotees who are coming back every night, when you come here and you reach here, go to him first. Before you take your seat, go to him first. Even when you finish tonight, go to him. And if you think your life is not going right, maybe you are going through a Graha or some planetary effect or something in the world that is not going right, tonight go to him. It is a blessing to walk around him. Yani kani cha papani janmantra kritani cha tani tani vina shanti pradakshana pade pade perform pradakshana walk around him nine times and say Lord you are Mahavir. Look how tall he is. He is not as tall as 85 feet tall but today we are given the opportunity to come here. When you go in India today while they are preparing for celebrations for the Sri Hanuman Jayanti when you go there you will see beautiful tall 85 feet tall and even more but in this time, you can't even go close to him. You can't even touch him. You can't even walk up close to him to say a prayer because they are preparing to worship him for Sri Hanuman Jayanti. And they will fix barricades and you have to stand up from far and you have to pay your little money for the flowers and just give them and they will take it and put it for you. We are lucky and fortunate here tonight. Go to him when we are finished tonight. Walk around him. He is strong. He's mighty. He's Bajarangabali. Lord of strength. Lord, I need your strength. Pray. Prabhu, I need your strength to overcome an obstacle. I want strength to overcome grief. I want strength to overcome a mental issue. I want strength physically to stand up and protect myself. Mental, emotional, spiritual. Pray to Mahaviri Swami and He will guide you. We underestimate the power of our God sometimes. We underestimate the power of our prayer sometimes. We pray and we pray without faith and we say, Well, you know what? I pray and nothing works out. But if you really put an ounce of devotion in your prayer, miracles, my friends, can happen. As it says, according to Bajarangabali, you can move mountains in your life. Pavana Putra, he came onto the chariot. And Prabhu Ram, he puts his hands together and he says, Vibhish, and it's time to go. I do not want to reach late. I'm considering my brother who is waiting. Bharata is waiting on me and I don't want to delay anything at all. I understand. Be considerate to others, friends. Be considerate to the people in your life. Be considerate to, to the people who are sacrificing for you to be who you are sometimes. Be considerate to what you get from society and the world. Like the saying goes, always remember where you come. Come from. So I hear some devotees saying, Pandit Naraji is not coming back to Trinidad anymore. Yeah, right. Never forget where you come from. When I sit here and I feel the vibrations of Mahaviri Swami, 
on the day of Sri Hanuman Jayanti on this Saturday. We will not only be here, but we will be doing chanting at the Sri Hanuman 85 feet tall as well. When we sit in our soil and we feel the energy and the vibration of that divine murti, there's no other feeling in the world that is amazing to say, remember where you have come from. That is where our source is. We can probably travel the world and we could go everywhere and we can shine everywhere that we go. But we must remember to touch back at the spark and gain the energy again. There must be a source. And where is the source? Right here. I ain't going anywhere. I may go from time to time, but I'm not leaving to go anywhere. Why? Because the source is here. Remember where you've come from. Remember your mother who taught you. Remember your father who taught you. Never disrespect your mother. Never disrespect your father. Never disrespect the people who teach you. Never disrespect the people who help you become who you are. Never disrespect the people who lift you. Meaning the people in your life, a brother, a sister, a mother, a father, a friend, a relative, people in your life. Remember to always be grounded. That is where the energy comes from. We can go to the stars and come back. But remember to come back. Tonight, Bhaktas, while Bajarangabali sits at the feet of Lord Ram, he says, Prabhu, let us go now to Ayodhya. And while they are about to make their way to Ayodhya, Prabhu Ram, he holds on to his Dolahin. He holds on to the hand of Sita Devi. And lovingly, while he holds on to the hand, he says, Devi, I want to show you. Devi, you would have been captured there. Look there because the Pushpaka Viman lifts and it's about to take off now. And while it is going, Devi, you were there in that forest there. You were there under the Ashoka. And she looks and her eyes filled with tears. Prabhu, nobody knows what I underwent while I was there. He goes and he's about to cross the ocean. And before he could cross, he says, look at the camps. He says, Devi, we set up camp right there. While he shows her where he had set up camp, they are crossing. At that point, Mainak, the, the, the mountain that raised to block Bajrangabali when he was crossing the ocean, Mainak comes up and raises above the ocean level and sees Prabhu Ramachandra and says, Jai Shri Ram, Prabhu, you are powerful today, you have received Sita Mata. But today, Mainak, as the mountain, Lord, I want to tell you that you will never be blessed in the world again to receive a powerful bhakta. Like that person there, Hanumanji. Even the mountain praises Bajrangabali. He crosses and he goes above the ocean. And when he's seeing land of Bharadesh, he says, Devi, look there. Look down there. That is the spot where I prayed for you. I prayed for you to find you and to retrieve you. Today, Bhaktas, Lord Hanumanji, he says, Prabhu, look, Dekuna, look down there, what do you see? The Lingam, Lord, that you created, the Prithvi Linga, that you created, it is there. And the one that I brought from you, Ma, if I tell you. And Lord Hanumanji is about to speak to Devi. Devi, you know, Prabhu Ram sent me to look for Lingam. He says he wants to worship Lord Shiva. I went all over looking for the lingam. I went in Kailash Parvat. I found Mahadev and I was getting the lingam. And when I came back, that lingam was so heavy, I put it on my shoulder. And when I brought it back, and I came back to the spot, Prabhu Ram had already built a Prithvi lingam. He's praying. Ma, he did that to me. <laughs> like a child complaining. Maya. And the mother stops and she says, Prabhu, is that true? Prabhu, descend. Come back to the spot now. I want to see. And while the Pushpaka Viman is coming down in Kailash Parvat, Parvati Devi sitting next to Lord Shiva and she nudges him. Hare Prabhu Dekona, look at your avatar. Look at your Gyaraha Rudraha. Look at your form. So innocent and pure and divine. Look at him begging his way through the Divine Mother. And she nudges him and she looks at him. And he said, Parvati Mata and Bhagwan Shankar, they will smile at one another because they are seeing the pastimes of Pamanaputra and the innocence of his heart. And when the Pushpaka Viman lands and it touches the ground, Bajarangabali comes out. Prabhu Ramachandra comes out. And Lord Ram walks on his sand. He looks up into the skies. And he says, Prabhu, where are you? Please come. While the Lord is about to leave Kailash Paravat. Listen beautifully.
जूत जता में गंगा धारी त्रिशूल धारी दमरु बजा ओम नम शिवा ओम नम शिवा हरिओ नम शिवा हरिओ नम शिवा लॉर्ड शिव लीव्स एंड ही कम्स इन मिड एयर एंड वाली इज इन मिड एयर प्रभु राम से इस तरह प्रभु शंकर I want you to sanction and bless the lingam of Prithvi Lingam. But I want you to do something for me today. The lingam that Lord Hanuman ji has brought, it is there and my lingam is here. I want you to sit in that lingam first and just bless mine. And I want the world to know today that if they must come and get the blessings of Prabhu Ramachandra Prithvi Lingam, they have to go by him first. They have to go by the lingam of Lord Hanuman ji first. and if they go there then i will be satisfied and i will bless them bhaktas today while prabhu ramachandra is speaking to bajrangabali bajrangabali feels so happy and so contented it is said they gave a name to the linga it was called hanumad ishwara linga hanumad ishwara linga put together the linga of lord shiva that has been put by lord hanuman ji and while it has been sanctioned bajrangabali sits and he says prabhu thank you for giving me that boon bolo bolo sab mil bolo om namah shivaya bolo bolo sab mil bolo om namah shivaya 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 me 
you go to India today and you go to Rameshwaram, that most southern part of India, Rameshwaram is where the Lingam is. But in order to see that Lingam of Prabhu Ramachandra in which he had created, you must witness and bless your eyes first with the Lingam of Lord Hanumanji. And before you bless your eyes by seeing the Lingam of Lord Hanumanji, you must take bath in 21 rivers first. Jai Bhagwan. You have to real be. <laughs> so when I had gone, while walking on the streets, even the tour guides will tell you, hurry, go there fast. You see a little street and you run on the side, take a dip quick, you have to jump in there. And you jump in in a little river and you take a bath and you come out and few st footsteps again, look one on the side, come, go fast. And another one, and another one, and 21 baths you have to take. When you done that, Jombi go on. <laughs> if you are Jombi and think, Jai Bhagwan. After 21 baths, then you will go to the first linga. Imagine every day how many thousands of people go to see the lingam. After 21 baths, fighting the crowd to get there, you will see Lord Hanumanji's lingam. In order to see the lingam, you will have to fight your way through so many people just to get a peek. And you will glance at the lingam of Lord Hanumanji. As soon as you glance at the lingam of Lord Hanumanji, you have to fight your way, leave there now and walk again for a little bit with all the crowd to see the Prithvi linga. And here's the best part. These lingams, they are in little shrines that have been built. And these lingams, the shrine only opens twice a day for 10 minutes. Think about that now. Twice a day for 10 minutes. So you must make sure you're at the right time for 10 minutes when the doors are about to open. Make sure you're done, babe. 21 times. Make sure you witness Lord Hanumanji's lingam and reach in time for Lord Rama's lingam. Because 10 minutes after that, the doors are shut. Come back tomorrow. It is said the lingam of Lord Hanumanji was filled with energy. And at that point, Devi Sita Mata walked up to the lingam. She places her hand on top of the lingam. And she says, Prabhu Ram, today I will infuse the energy of Shakti Mata. So the world will know that your Prithavi linga represents Lord Shiva. But Hanuman's lingam, Prabhu Hanumanji, it will represent Shakti. You must pass through Shakti first and you will find Prabhu Shankar Bhuninath. After they blessed both lingams, they went back now to the chariot. They climbed on to the Pushpaka Viman and they're about to make a leap again. And while the Pushpaka lifts into the air and it travels, Prabhu Ram is now showing Devi Mata like the tour guide. Devi, we walked there. We stopped there for two days. We walked on this path. That is the mountain that is called Rishya Mukparavat. That is why we met Sugriv. That is where Lord Hanumanji met me. Look down there at the bottom of the Rishya Mukparavat. That is where he embraced me. And then he's going further and he's going further. And while he's going up again, at that point, he reaches the point where he sees some of the ashrams. Which is one of the ashrams that he sees? He stops to ponder and he, his heart hurts for a second. And he says, Devi, I will tell you of such a soul. Listen, Chau Pisces. Shri Rama Jai Rama Jai Jai Rama Shri Rama Jai Rama Jai Jai Rama Shri Rama Jai Rama
राम जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम स्वामी की श्री राम जय राम जय 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 नारायण वी सिंग मान यू गो फीड यू आफ्टर सो यू गोइंग टू नाइट टू स्पिट यू ऑल इन थ्री देर इज वन देर इज टू देर इज थ्री यू आर रेडी Everybody on this side, by yourself. Are you ready? Whoever loses, no parasad for you. Whoever come out second, no food for you. <laughs> Everybody ready? On this side. Shri Rama, Jaya Rama, Jaya Jaya. Kya baat? Shri Rama, Jaya Rama. I want to read them from one to ten. A little judge, a little ex. Everybody on the side. Shri Ram Jai Ram. Ready? Shri Ram. Kya baat? I know everybody on the side. Don't worry. Don't think it's about the crowd. We could have a little bit, but we more could be big, right? Everybody ready? Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai. Very nice. Shri Ram Jai Ram. Come on, who win? Who win? Who win? Decide. You must never boast when you win. It's ego. <laughs> Everybody all together win. Why? Because chanting the name of God, that in itself, it's a blessing. There are people who wish to praise God's name. There are people who wish to chant God's name, and they're not given the opportunity. There are people who don't even know God's name properly, but yet while saying it, they put so much love into it. I'm sure many people saw some of their lives while I was doing this Shri Hanuman Chalisa. And I remember a lot of people messaged me when I did the Shri Hanuman Chalisa, and these two devotees—I'm calling them devotees. These two people—they were playing. One was playing a trap set. One was playing a guitar. Do you remember that version? They were not even Hindus, and they knew nothing about Hinduism. And I just walked up to them and said, "Here's what I just want rhythm." I said, "Just give me a rhythm. I want to sing something." They said, "Where's that? Don't worry. I just want to sing something. Give me rhythm." And when I started to sing it, Sri Hanuman Chalisa, they kept going with the rhythm, and at the end of it, they enjoyed it so much. They are not of our culture, but they said, "Hey, here's what. Who is that you sing there? You had a copy?" I said, "That's a long copy, boy." He said, "That's okay. We want to sing it because we just like how it went and the rhythm, and they know nothing about it." But they kept singing that last part. The guitar guy just said to me, "I remember the piece. The piece was Jai 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 Hanuman Gosai." So yeah, you know the best part. Knowingly or unknowingly, to those who chant the name of God, it is a blessing. We are blessed as devotees and bhaktas that has that have come from the soil and the root of God's energy, and we feel shame to sing sometimes. When rakshasas and demons and negative people wanted to destroy the world, they will sing out aloud, and they don't care because they know they're going to get a gift to destroy the world. Today. No matter what the world has to throw at us to destroy us, if you can chant Ram Nam with full feet, you can win the world. Shri Ram Jai Ram, bolo. Shri Ram Jai Ram. 
singing in the name of God. Don't feel ashamed, my friends. No matter where you go in the world, feel proud to be who you are and sing in the name of God. I walk everywhere. Somebody said, Paniji, I see you in Times Square singing and everybody stand up behind you and watching. So what? Wherever you are in the world, be proud to be who you are. Not just for God, but be proud to be who you are as an individual. Be confident in yourself. If you're confident in you, you will be confident to do anything around you. If you're scared, my friends, within, then you'll be ashamed or shy to do anything on the outside. Today, Prabhu Ramachandra is going above and you know what he saw? He says, Devi, look down there, you see that little kutia? And he stops for a second and he bends his head. There's a woman who lives there. Her heart is like gold. Shabari's honey. Her heart is like gold, but yet the world, they pelt at her. They ran her from the village. She lives there by herself. The day I walked into her kutia, she filled the yard with petals. And while I was walking, she looked at me and tears were flowing from her eyes. And she was just gazing at my form. And when I sat there, she took that fruit. And like a mother to a son, when she fed me, I felt so comfortable. Devi, ja ta pa ta kul or barai. Bal kutum or bundhi se manta hai. Devi, you won't understand. But nothing in the world matters to me. But the love of a devotee, pure love. This is one of the most powerful verses that Prabhu Ramachandra says. Ja ta pa ta kul or dharma barai. Kul means your lineage. He says, I do not care about your lineage. Who is your mother? Who is your father? Who was your grandfather? Whose lineage you're from? Whether you're Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishud, caste system. He says, I worry nothing about that. But if you come to me like Devi, Shabari, and your heart is pure as gold, I will leave the whole world and I will come to you. You don't need to come to me. I will come to you. Today, Bhaktas, Devi saw Prabhu Ramachandra explaining the Kutya below. And she could see the enthusiasm God becomes excited when you put your love to Him. God becomes excited when you show Him how excited you are to show your love. When you can be creative in your love and your devotion towards God, He becomes excited. I was going down the road yesterday, I was telling myself, okay, we're going to have beautiful yajna. I said, Hanumanji, what do you want? How do I worship you? How do I make offerings to you? How will we perform the yajna? Shall we do a puja? Shall we do Havan puja? Shall we let it be? And then all of a sudden it just hit me. You know what? Hanumanji travels from place to place and he wants coconut water. Hare, 25 coconut for you every night. You are Panch Mukhi Hanumanji, 25 coconuts. And you know what? While you have seen these 25 coconuts there, every night at the end of the yajna, we will burst the 25 and we will give it out to everybody randomly. 25 people. A little fight. If you don't get tonight, you'll get tomorrow. <laughs> And if you get one night, give somebody else a chance. But we will share that blessing of Bajaranga belief. While it sits there, have you ever heard of aura and energy? When it sits there, the coconut will bring the aura and the energy of the murti that is there. When you barely hold it alone, you will feel that vibe, much less to drink it. It becomes that holy water. It becomes blessed by Pawanaputra. Today, Lord Hanumanji is standing next to Prabhu Ram and he's explaining this kutia and that kutia and this ashram and that is the ashram that he went to. And while he's explaining, he reaches the point where he says, Over there, do you remember there, Devi? She says, where? Over there, do you see the shed? Do you see the leaves? Devi, that is where you were abducted. Devi, give me a second. And it is said, the eyes filled with tears. And he has to console his emotions because that is where Devi was abducted. He says, but today, we are going back. Let us come down to that spot for a moment and let us rest for a moment. I want to go there 
The Lakshman Reka is there. The protection is there. And while they are going down, they stop at that point. It is not too far. They are getting closer to Ayodhya. They stop at that point and Lord Ram pulls Hanumanji one side and he says, Bajrangabali, I want to talk to you. I want to tell you something. Pawanaputra, you are faster than anything in the world. You are Pawanaputra, son of the wind god. While we will take a moment here, go to Ayodhya and see what they're doing. Go to Ayodhya and tell my brother Bharata, don't give up. I'm coming soon. Bajrangabali, while he feels the energy of Prabhu Ramachandra, he's about to carry the message. He's about to convey the message. He's about to go to none other than Bharata. And he goes now behind all the trees and the bushes after taking blessings of Prabhu Ram. And there he's about to make his leap. Jai Shri Ram! And he's about to now go to Ayodhya. And when he makes the leap in mid-air, being carried with the wind, Bajrangabali, he's singing along. Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, Do Akshar Ka Pyara Naam. Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, Do Akshar Ka Pyara Naam. Bolo, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, Do Akshar Ka Pyara Naam. Bolo, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, Do Akshar Ka Pyara Naam. Do Akshar Ka Pyara Naam. And he makes the leap in mid-air and he's going to Ayodhya and when he passes over Ayodhya, he's looking down and everybody's sad, everybody's depressed. 14 years have passed, 14 years without God in your life, how will you look? How do you think you'll look after 14 years if God is not in your life? <laughs> what do you think? Dry up, pale, no energy. <laughs> God gives you the energy. People ask me, where do you get the energy from? I love prayer with a passion. I love singing, worship, devotion, God, Hanumanji, Bhagwan Krishna. I love with an energy. When God is in your life, you will have the energy. If you don't have the contact with God, you will become down, weak, pale, depressed. It will show in you. When you lose that connection with God, it will start to show in you. Tonight, Bhaktas, Bajarangabali, he sees Ayodhya and Ayodhya is looking pale. Ayodhya is looking dark. Ayodhya is looking dim. And then suddenly now he decides to land and when he jumps down and he drops on Ayodhya, Jai Shri Ram. He walks to the side and he sees now the wonderful city of Ayodhya. He goes to the kingdom. And outside the kingdom, he sees that little kutia set up. And he sees Bharata there. And Bharata is the king. But you know what? He's there in a loincloth, chadar. He's holding on to the chappal of Prabhu Ramachandra. He's crying. And he's saying, Prabhu, we only have a few more hours and 14 years will be up. When will you come, Lord? When will you bless us? Are you coming? Are you okay? Is everything all right? Will we see you again? Did something destroy you in the forest? Is anything wrong with Sita Devi? And Bharata is crying and he's saying, Prabhu, I will not step my foot into the kingdom unless you come back. And while he's there, Hanumanji's heart hurts to see the dedication of a brother to a brother. He sees the love and the care and the affection of a brother to a brother. And he goes and he disguises himself into a Brahmana. And he knocks on the door of the kutya. Bharata, he gets up when he hears the sound and he opens the door. And when he sees the brahmana, he says, Are brahmana? Pranams. E kya hua? Batao. What is wrong? Mahaviri Swami, in the form of the brahmana, says, Bharata, after 14 years, you're seated outside the palace of Ayodhya. You're living like this nobody. You have the right to gain anything that you want, the kingdom and wealth and money and food and sleep comfortable. And you're living like this. Don't study your brother in the forest. You have a kingdom to rule. Why don't you go rule the kingdom? Get up from here and go and live your life. And Bharata stops and he says, wait a minute. You're telling me to forsake the love that I have for my brother and go into the kingdom that is his? Brahmana, please forgive me, but leave. Leave from here.
if you've come to distract my mind, leave from here. God will test you. God will break you. God will put obstacles on your path to see how strong you are. God will take people from your lives, the best, to see how you will hold up. He knows it all. He knows what is to be. He knows what will happen. Where is your faith and where is your love? When the Brahmana stands there and Bharata says, leave, Bajaranga Bali, he smiles. Jai Shri Ram! Bharaji, he changes his form. And there in the original form of Bajaranga Bali, at that point, he says, Bharata, have no fear. Bharata, smile, brother. I am like a brother to you. Don't you remember that day when I was passing by and I told you I was going now to bring the mountain? Well, Bhaiji, prepare, your Lord is about to come. The Lord Prabhu Ramachandra has found Sita Devi and he's about to come back very soon. He's not too far and he will be there soon. Prepare and make coronation ready. Prepare the village and the city and tell everybody that the time is about to come and Prabhu Ram will return to Ayodhya. And when Bharata hears that, he smiles and he says, Yes, such hair. Is it true? Will my Lord will really, my come Lord really come back? And he goes and he prepares everything. And they start preparing the lights on the streets. And they start decorating Ayodhya. And the devotees are excited. And Bajranga Bali says, I will leave now. But I will come back with my Lord. And before he leaves, Bharata takes the Aarti. And he starts to Aarti Bajranga Bali. Great is your form. Great is your name. For you will be known as the one who will bring hope into the life of those who have lost it. Pauna Sutta Hanumana Ki Chira Ke Chate Pauna Putra Hanumana Bolo Pauna Putra Hanumana मेरे मन में मसे हैरान और मेरे तन में मसे हैरान सेल्फ सैक्रिफाइस और अयज्ञा आई वांट एवरीबॉडी टुनाइट तो दोस्त वो कमिंग बैक एवरी नाइट मेक इट अयज्ञा दिस इज़ नॉट माय अयज्ञा दिस इज़ नॉट जस्ट वन पर्सन और थ्री पीपल और फाइव दिस इज़ आवर अयज्ञा Every day, every night, when you sit, maname bese heram, thaname bese heram. When you sit here, forget the world, focus your mind at the feet of Prabhu, and allow your body to raise at ends by the chanting of His name. Mere maname bese heram, mere thaname bese heram, mere maname bese.
says to Bharata, I will go back now, but very soon Prabhu Sri Ramachandra will come. When Lord Hanumanji left and he went back now to Prabhu Ramachandra, Bharata, he calls the entire village and he creates a committee and he says we've waited too long and enough for 14 years and today we will prepare. Our Lord will return to Ayodhya and while the preparations will take place, Tomorrow night, friends, in our Katha, Prabhu Ramachandra will return to Ayodhya. What will happen when he enters Ayodhya? What will happen when his mother sees him? What will happen when his brother sees him? Friends, there's so much. The gods will connect. But tomorrow night, we will continue with that message. Shivrindavan Mihari Laalaki! With this, my friends, we end our Katha tonight. And at this time, we invite everybody to stand as you're about to perform our final arati. While we are doing the arati, as we will do not just tonight, but every night, we will do the arati. And while singing the arati, if there are the devotees who would want to take their time and maybe walk around Bajarangabali just once, not to create too much of the congestion, but to walk around Mahaviri Swami just once and take your blessings, you can do so while the arati is done. It is called Parikrama. It is called, my friends, Pradakshana and receiving blessings of Bajarangabali. We now join in our arati. आरते के जय हनुमान लला के दुष्ट दलन रघुनाथ कला के आरते के जय हनुमान लला के दुष्ट दलन रघुनाथ कला जाके बल से गिरी वर का दे रोग दोष जाके निकट न जाते जाके बल से गिरी वर का दे रोग दोष जाके निकट न जाते अंजनी 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 महाबल दाई नखे प्रभु सदा सहाये
मोमेंट नहीं तो वैसे बजरंग बली यानी कानी चपा पानी जनमंत्र कृतानी चा तानी तानी निरशन की प्रदक्षिणा पदी पदी जय 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 हनुमान जय 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 पतिशा जगन निवास जगदो धारा नम शिवाय ईश पतिशा जगन निवास जगदो धारा नम शिवाय This is where we end our beautiful night, our first night of our five nights of Sri Hanumanji Yajna, where from tonight until Saturday night we will be here at the feet of Mahaviri Swami, taking this moment to join in wonderful kahanis of our Lord. If anybody wishes to bring offerings and make offerings to.